The Celebration is Carnival's newest ship, and today we're going to be going over how this ship is able to fit almost 5,400 passengers and 1,700 crew. The Celebration offers a bunch of different room types, so whether you're looking to get on a budget-friendly cruise or if you're looking to blow some serious stacks on a suite, there is a room for you on this ship. Up first, we're going to talk about the cheapest option to get on the Celebration, and that would be an interior stateroom. Because this is the cheapest option, it is indeed the smallest at 158 square feet. You can only fit two people in this room, and it is either a queen bed or two twin-size beds. And we walk in, you're greeted with the bathroom on the right side, and if you walk in, you can see some shelves here on the left, which you could put some accessories, some hats, some electronics. There are some charging stations right there, so you can get your phone charged as well as any other electronics that you need throughout the vacation. We had the rooms broken into two twins. You can check out our luggage. Uh, it was a small room, but it did work. It was easy for both of us to see the TV at nighttime while we were going to bed. And in the bathroom, it is your typical carnival bathroom. It's a little small. However, it is worth noting that this shower does go out into the walk, that little walk area in the bathroom, and it's kind of hard to get in. We're not the biggest people, but we can imagine a lot of people struggling with this. You can upgrade to a premium interior stateroom, which has almost as much size as a balcony and an ocean view. Unfortunately, we don't have a video of this. We just wanted to show you guys the layout. This room comes with a seating area, which is really nice. So you can actually fit three people in the premium interior stateroom. And because of this extra seating area, the square footage goes from 158 from the original interior to 205 square feet. Up next, if you want to see the light of day, we have an ocean view cabin. Firstly, this is my favorite cabin. I think this is the best value on the ship. This is the ocean view at 243 square feet. This is the biggest room that isn't a premium option like a suite. Here you have the same layout as you did the premium interior, which is your seating area as well as the bed area. Honestly, this is a great, very large size room. And let's dive right in. As you can see from just walking in how much larger this is than the interior room and you also get that natural light that's coming from the porthole. This is a really large room. You can see this room connects to another room. That's not the case with all balcony rooms, but this one does. We actually like to sit in this porthole window area. It's actually pretty comfortable. And you can see the room here is great. It's a great value, and this is set up for three people, which makes it a little bit cheaper per person, of course. Speaking of budgets, we want to help you guys with yours. So if you comment below on this video, we will be selecting one winner for a $50 gift card for Amazon. So you can use that towards any of your cruise expenses or just some accessories to look fly fresh and funky on that ship. This one surprised me because the balcony cabin actually has less square footage than an ocean view cabin. So you're paying more money for the view, but you actually get less square footage in your actual room. Unlike the 243 square feet that the ocean view has, the balcony only has 205 square feet of actual living space. However, there is 44 feet of balcony. So this room does fit three people as well, but it's just a little bit tighter than the ocean view. So walking into the balcony stateroom, you're greeted with your little seating area. As you notice, the seating area next to the artwork, you have a nightlight. That's for when the couch transforms into a bed you're able to have a nightlight and can see because these ships do get kind of dark especially when you close the blinds to your balcony and as you can see this room is set up in a queen there is a beautiful little seating area with some drawers over there we'll open the drawers to show you how much space there are in a few seconds walking out onto the balcony this is 44 square feet so it's not the biggest balcony but it does have two chairs and a table so you can sit out here drink a glass of wine and relax and enjoy the views. It's worth noting that behind the bed there is a light so it's very well lit when it comes to nighttime and it's dark in here. Here's the drawers. This is a great place to put socks and underwear. It's right next to the mini fridge. The mini fridge is not stocked so you don't have to worry about the temptations. You're able to just put your wine that you're allowed to bring on board. We snuck into the Havana area and got to show a balcony room. So here's the balcony in the Havana area. For those who don't know, the Havana area actually is an exclusive area limited to just the Havana cabins and it has its own personal outdoor area and an awesome pool and its own bar. 
and the pool's actually over the side of the ship, so it's actually an incredible view. It's absolutely stunning. Diving into the room itself, it has the same layout as the other balconies. However, it is worth noting that this balcony has over an 80 square foot balcony. It's absolutely massive. The one downfall is that you don't have a private balcony. You actually have the Havana area right outside your balcony, so there is very little privacy. But let's dive right into the room. The decor in this room is so much more elegant. There's some really cool murals behind the bed here. You can see an old 1950s car. The wood's a lot darker. It just has a better, more vibrant feel to it. And out here you can see the Havana area, but as you can see, those little chairs out there are actually for anyone in the Havana area. So you can have someone directly in front of your room. The bathroom is about the same size as the other bathrooms. They're all really small, but they're nice to get the job done. You're only in the ship for seven days, so you can manage. I would say that is the one downfall of the ship. It's just not as spacious as other Carnival Cruise Line bathrooms. What's going on guys? It's Kyle from the Boat Breakers. As I was editing this video, we actually got a submission from one of our friends that lives on board the celebration, and he's giving us a little tour of his room. So honestly, we figured why wouldn't we put this in this video, show you guys a little behind the scenes action because not too many people have ever been to Deck Zero, let alone see the crew quarters. So this gives you guys an insight to see how these crew members live for six to eight months out of the year. So I personally couldn't do it after I saw the video, but let me know what you guys think in the comments of how these rooms are laid out. As you could have guessed, those rooms aren't any bigger than an interior and the fact that it's always gonna be two to a room with bunk beds makes living a little tight. At least they do have the curtain to separate and get a little bit of privacy, but if you could catch it while you were watching that video, you can hear the waves heading against the bottom of the ship because they are basically, if not lower than the water level. So it's an incredible thing to see and it's really eye-opening and humbling to see that. This is why we tip our staff people, so. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate your time. And if you have any thoughts, please let us know in the comments below. Thank you guys again for watching. Have a good day and peace.